Well, after years of planning, Georgia now has an animal facility at Fort Valley State University that is designed to house animals in times of emergencies and disasters. It's called the Safe Center, and it's centrally located in the state with a team of experts and equipment to care for Georgia's animals during any crisis. A ceremony was held to recognize the occasion, attended by students, professors, dignitaries, and politicians. It's a little over 7,000 square feet. Uh, we have a space for 105 dog cages. We have 80 cat cages. Uh, we have the, um, the exterior barn right now has 30 stalls, eight of which are surgical stalls. So we could put animals that were injured or needed special care in those. And then we also have pastures associated with this. The way the center is structured, it's been a, a joint venture between Georgia Department of Agriculture and University System of Georgia Board of Regents, uh, and it will get activated through Georgia Department of Agriculture in, 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 uh, in case of an emergency and need, and then it will go through the emergency management system. It's somewhat event driven and so depending on what the event is, that's going to determine what we're going to need to do. We do have a complete surgical facility here for small animals. We have a surgical facility here for, for horses. Uh, we are able to, to provide those services if need be, but you know, let's face it, honestly, most of the time what we need to do is provide them shelter and care. They can handle most any species. They're not limited to dogs, cats, and horses. But the facility can be expanded to take care of farm animals, livestock, and most any other animal you can think of. Uh, location's key, and, and location with regards to the transportation system is so important. But you've got all those good academic assets that are here, and, and uh, uh, it, it, just, it just makes perfect sense. So they've been uh, terrific partners, and, and, and we look forward to the, uh, in the unfortunate uh, event of, uh, of some, some terrible weather in the future of our state, which we're just certain to, certain to face. Uh, we're now going to be poised to really uh, serve the families and taxpayers of Georgia when it comes to their, uh, their companion animals during one of these events. Safe Center is an excellent training ground for our students. It helps our students to be exposed to a variety of animals, to help uh, others in the event of a disaster. So it's about reaching out and helping the community. And that's what Fort Valley State University is about, reaching out. The facility is now built, it's complete, it's ready to go when the state has a need. And it's not just for Georgia, it's entirely regional. To have a, a facility here that's a, that's a, a permanent facility, uh, doesn't mean we'll meet all the needs in the case of a disaster, but it certainly gives us a hub, a headquarters to work from. And certainly we, we, you have the expertise here at Fort Valley State with their veterinary technician program and uh, uh, a rich heritage in animal science. It just, it's a natural fit. And so we're, we're very pleased to be a partner and uh, this is a great day to celebrate here in Fort, Fort Valley. So it's a part of what we call our community. We wanted uh, Fort Valley to reach out to the community and this is an effort to reach out to the community. So I am extremely happy about this day. And by the way, Hurricane Katrina was the impetus for the state's decision to build this animal facility. Some 600,000 pets were either killed or left unattended during that storm, and 8,000 animals were brought to shelters right here in Georgia throughout the southeast. Well, the Safe Center should go a long way to ease that problem should we have another catastrophe like Katrina.